still with the same guy. He's a male man originally. He wasn't delighted to be in Crow Park. We're always here. I think that was the moment for us, Alan. He's been in 10 years in Dublin, and he's going to talk to you about a career with Kay and Circus. He's looking for graduates, amongst other things. There's talk of apprenticeships as well. So uh, without further ado, I'd love for you to give a lovely warm round of applause to our final speaker today, uh, Kieran Potsdam. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thanks very much, folks. Uh, welcome today to, uh, to the Jobs Expo. Um, I'm here to talk to you a bit about uh, Kay and Cersei. Um, Kay and Cersei is, I suppose, one of the, le the, the largest uh, telecommunications uh, companies in Europe. Um, it's formed between Kay and Group, uh, who are an Irish company, and uh, Cersei, a French company who uh, was merged with la last year. Um, Kay and Cersei is. Um, we're based here in, in Dublin. Um, we have, sorry, one sec, I'll just go back to this. Um, so we are leading a, a leading supply, um, telecommunications, transport infrastructure and power uh, company based in Ireland, the UK, and internationally. Uh, we've operated within these markets since uh, 1975, and uh, our focus is to provide uh, fully managed service to our clients. Um, our, uh, our turnover uh, combined between the Kay and Cersei Group is uh, 1.2 billion. Uh, we've got uh, 2 million customer appointments and about 11,000 people employed, both directly and indirectly, within the group. So, as we're saying, uh, we're a global company. Um, we are based in Ireland. We are in France. Uh, the Cersei Group is, operates in France. We are recently moved into Germany. Um, we, are ba we have a, a large footprint in the UK, Spain, Morocco and in the Caribbean um, where we operate in a number of, of areas out there. Um, as I said, our people employed, we have about 11,000 worldwide um, and about 6,000 of those will be direct staff between KN Group and Cersei. Um, we have a large fleet of plant and equipment, uh, about 6,000 vehicles worldwide. Um, some of our clients, just to give you an idea, I suppose in Ireland here we are the leading, uh, the main te telecoms infrastructure provider to AIR. Uh, we also work for BT in Northern Ireland, uh, BT in Southern Ireland, and BT in the UK. Um, we work for a lot of the other telecoms companies within Ireland as well, such as Virgin Media, Cyro, um, we work for uh, Zeo, we do power works for ESB, um, we work for Irish Rail. And then in the UK, we do a lot of work for uh, Northern Ireland Electricity and for uh, BT. Outside of that, in Europe and France, we have other clients such as uh, Orange, uh, Free, Ferrovial, um, are kind of listed out there. So they're just a, a selection of them. Um, so our main, we, we operate in a number of, the, of uh, sectors, our main sector being telecoms. Um, so to, uh, the group um, has vast experience in building the world's fastest telecom networks. We've been instrumental here in Ireland over the last number of years in the rollout of AIR's uh, fibre broadband and uh, also the broadband for Virgin Media, for Cyro, and, and we also do B BAU, uh, business as usual uh, connections and for AIR and for uh, Virgin Media, BT. Um, so we operate in, in all sectors of the telecommunications industry, so in fixed line, uh, wireless, and in home. So in terms of our fixed line, we do uh, activities such as overhead fiber wrap, uh, wrap and fiber optic cables on the power network, um, underground and overhead fire, fiber optics, cable installation, uh, fiber optic splicing and testing. Um, we do copper cabling as well, copper uh, installations. Uh, we have our own planning and design division. Um, in wireless, again, we do planning and design. Uh, we operate in some of the radio networks, um, mast installation, network installation. Um, and we also have a, an in-home division where we uh, do the installations in home. So we have a, an installation division that goes around and uh, does the in-home installation for a number of clients. Uh, again, Air, Vodafone, um, where we do, we have a, 
uh, a customer a call center that, that uh, books in your service, your requests, and, and uh, we send our technicians out to do the in-home installations. Our services, um, so we do a kind of a full managed service for our clients. So everything from uh, initial serving, planning and design, building and commissioning, to operation and maintenance. Um, so from a survey point of view, we have a survey division. So our, all our surveyors will be competent, qualified surveyors. They will go out and do site surveying for, for uh, new network bills or for our customer connections. Um, that would include uh, a, a number of the things listed below. Uh, so the site surveying, trunk surveying, uh, tower as built surveys for wireless, uh, tower climbing, fiber to the home surveys, um, and kind of innovative methods such as drone surveys uh, related to the wireless networks. Um, we have a planning and design division um, which has a number of, uh, of, I suppose, qualified and experienced uh, designers. So we provide a full design solution for our clients. Um, we are currently designing uh, the Ayers Next Generation Fibre to the, to the business, or Fibre to the home, sorry. Um, we also are, do designs for CSIRO and the rollouts we do for them, um, and for BT in the UK. So through that, by bringing that back in-house into our own guides, we have um, a right first time approach. We try to uh, ensure that we are given the best service to the customer, best value for money, um, and that we are providing a full solution, turnkey solution for our customers. Um, in the building commission side of things, we have, uh, we try to operate uh, the, most the most economic um, and the most practical solutions for the uh, building of the networks and um, so we use innovative methods such as mole ploughing, sky wrap, directional drilling, um, techniques such as overblow which are probably more familiar to people who, who work in the telecoms industry. Um, operating and maintain, so we, are, we provide an operation and maintenance service to our customers. Um, we provide uh, on-call support services uh, in the event that there's telecoms breaks, we assist in uh, storm damage, we're out there with Air's own crews, with the ESB crews, in the power side of things, um, and we're on call for a lot of our clients on a 24/7 basis. We operate our own uh, on call uh, call centre, where all the calls are logged. Our teams who are on call are sent out to the field uh, to repair and. Uh, and uh, I suppose rectify any dangerous situ situations and, and repair and provide services back to the customer. So, um, you know, typical examples would be where we've got storm damage or where there's been, um, I suppose, an inadvertent uh, damage caused to one of the, the, the telecoms networks. Um, that's fixed emergency restoration services. So, as I said, we've been on call, uh, nationwide coverage. Uh, we have uh, nationwide uh, staff and, so and contractors all over Ireland. Uh, and Northern Ireland and the UK. Um, we mobilise within the, the time frames that are agreed with the, within the SLAs with clients um, and uh, we have a 100% record in our response and repair. Um, we also have a number of other divisions which complement our business. Um, we have recently uh, in Ireland uh, set up a new, co a new uh, traffic management company which uh, carries out all our own traffic management. In the UK we have, ha have a, a similar business, uh, so we have our own traffic management designers, uh, our own traffic management operatives. You'll see the guys out there, they're free flow in the UK, stair flow in Ireland, so we have operate that uh, for, I suppose initially for all of our own uh, works that we do, but we'll be rolling that out to, to uh, I suppose, external uh, uh, contractors and, and suppliers as well. Um, so we, as I said, we do all our, our own traffic management designs in-house, uh, license applications for local authorities, getting permits to get out on the road, um, and then providing the, the, uh, the guys to, to actually do the traffic management so that the works can be completed safely. Um, so on the fixed line side of things, we uh, have a full menu of services for uh, upgrade of fibre, copper and uh, coax space. So again, back we do our complete network, network planning, network design, license management services. So these are all services that we offer to our, all of our clients. Um, 
on the wireless side of things, as I said, we have um, experience in providing uh, services for microwave, radio systems, cellular, GSM, um, and full installation and commissioning services. Um, we have experience doing this uh, throughout Ireland and further afield. Uh, like in, in recent years, we've built out networks in Africa and the Caribbean, um, and Cersei have uh, a huge presence in this field in France. Um, So that's for 2018, we've uh, about 300 million euros worth of mobile activity um, through clients in uh, SFR, Orange and Free in, in France. Uh, so as I said, we are a global company. Um, some of the services that we have shown up here are, uh, some of them are, are services we provide in Ireland, some of them are services we provide uh, outside of Ireland, but um, I suppose the mobile side of things is larger in France at the minute than it is over here, but it's an area that we're actually growing in Ireland as well. Um, so there are just some stats in relation to uh, some of the wireless uh, installations we've done. Um, so again, for in-home, so for our in-home, we provide uh, activities such as smart metering, uh, broadband TV uh, installations. Um, we have uh, a nationwide network of installers out there. Um, run from our call centre here in Dublin. So we have a call centre uh, with about approximately 70 people in it, um, taking bookings for our clients um, and organising appointments for our field staff to go out and install your home broadband, your modems, uh, your television, whatever it is. And um, we'll be shortly commencing on the uh, ESP smart metering programme as well, which will be uh, require all of our electricians to be going out and installing smart meters on behalf of DSP. Um, a number of other divisions within the, gr the group outside of the uh, utilities uh, is our power division. So we have a power division based in Ireland and the UK where we provide uh, services to clients such as uh, ESB, NIE um, and uh, a number of other clients in the UK. We do overhead uh, power, um, underground power with the ESB here in Ireland and NIE in the north. Um, we work in the ESB substations. Uh, we're an approved contractor and we're on uh, frameworks with ESB for working inside the substations. Um, so we have uh, a large footprint in the power uh, division as well. Uh, some of our works will be substation construction, transmission line construction, uh, pole replacements on the power network. Um, trenching and ducting uh, and cable installation for uh, high voltage, medium voltage and low voltage power uh, installations. Um, we also operate a, a civil engineering division, uh, which is uh, one of my divisions. I, I, I run the civil engineering division for KN. Uh, I'm a civil engineer myself um, by trade and uh, we do an, uh, a lot of work for I suppose we do work for the local authorities um, for uh, clients like Transport Infrastructure Ireland, Irish Rail. Um, so we, we do a lot of public realm projects. We've been heavily involved in uh, some of the, the recent Lewis Cross City projects. We have done a number of enabling works contracts for that. Um, a number of interesting contracts we have rolled out, uh, been responsible for removing all the heritage items out of the way so we, we moved all the any of the, the monuments and statues out of the out of the way and stored them for a period of time during the Lewis Cross City uh, build project and uh, restored them and, and reinstated them upon completion and um, we built out a lot of uh, cycle cycle tracks and cycle improvement schemes around Dublin we've uh, in the last couple of years finished done a, a two kilometer uh, flood defense scheme in Dublin and a cycle uh, cycleway scheme, um, we would have uh, we did the repaving of, of Grafton Street um, and a number of other uh, civil engineering and transport infrastructure and public realm projects. Um, so th there's just a snapshot of one of our schemes. Uh, as I said Lewis Cross City projects. We've done a number of enabling works contracts uh, during the whole Lewis Cross City uh, build. Um, awards and accreditation, so we've been awarded the Deloitte Best Managed Company over the last number of years and um, we've retained that, that uh, accreditation for, for six, seven years now. Um, 
We are ISO accredited to 9001, 14001, 18001 and 50001. Um, we also have uh, our own take CSR very seriously. We try to, I suppose, uh, give back something to the communities that we work in. So in the last number of years, we have done large uh, scale fibre installation, uh, fibre build projects in Africa and um, Sierra Leone and a number of other countries in Africa. Um, and we have uh, tried to, to, I suppose, try and help out some of the communities which are uh, less well off uh, while we've been out there um, through donations, through um, employment of, of, uh, of local people. Uh, we hold regular fundraisers. We be a, a big supporter of Temple Street Children's Hospital. Um, we are a, a sponsor of, of a number of uh, a number of sporting teams. Uh, Donegal football, I suppose, being um, being the main one. Um, and you can see there over one and a half million contributed to worthy worthy causes worldwide. Um, I suppose in relation to what the people we're looking for, we have a number of. Um, requirements at the minute and we expect that to grow going as we as we go forward into uh, into the next number of years um, both in Ireland and abroad so we're looking for um, civil engineers um, both experienced and graduates uh, we're looking for quantity surveyors uh, we're looking for uh, business administrators and we're looking for construction graduates um, we're also running an apprenticeship program, so we'll be looking for apprentices, uh, for cablers, polers, uh, civil operatives, and uh, project managers, and the utilities and telecommunications side of things. So we'll be running apprenticeships probably from uh, within the next, from later on this year, I suppose, in the next couple of months. Um, uh, we already have a number of apprentices uh, who have come on board already and are working through their, their, uh, their trainee. Their training so um, we see that we have there's going to be a huge market growth here in the next couple of years within the telecom sector with uh, things like the fiber rollout with um, the uh, rural broadband scheme which has just recently been announced um, and uh, also within the power division we see quite a, a significant uh, increase in, in business over the next couple of years as well um, further afield, I suppose within KN, there's an opportunity for people to move around between, uh, because we are, uh, between KN and Cersei, we are a, a worldwide company or, or, or fairly geographically spread. So we have, um, we have the opportunity for people to move between Ireland, France, the UK, uh, Africa, the Caribbean, um, you know, into Germany, Spain, just basically any of the regions that we work in um, you know we, we try and facilitate people who, who like to move around um, so uh, that's basically the I suppose a bit about the company um, I personally I've been in the company for about eight years um, I I find it a very good company to work in um, you know it's very supportive uh, I started in there as a as a civil engineer and um, I've progressed I suppose up to a, to a contracts manager so there's there is a good culture there for people to progress within the company if they apply themselves um, and um, you know we'd like to to try and strengthen our team now and bring on you know uh, as I said a mixture of experienced people and trainees and graduates over the next over the next couple of years so if anybody has any questions uh, I would take any questions I think it's worth mentioning the fact that you have gone from the best management company for seven years is a testament to it being a very good workplace. And that's something that we talk time and time again today where people are looking for not just employment but people looking for careers. Yeah. Um, yeah, I suppose we, we have a we've ha always had a, a very good management team and They've been very supportive of people. They have, um, I suppose, built the company themselves from the ground up w through the KN Group here, um, right up to last year when uh, it was taken over by by Cersei. Um, so, they, those people who built the company are extremely experienced in what they do. They're extremely um, uh, supportive of the workforce and very good, I suppose, at, at bringing, recognizing talent and bringing talent on board and nurturing that talent and bringing it through. 
um, and those people are, are still the people that's at the helm of the company today and we are I suppose increasing our our uh, experience and expertise uh, year on year. And in terms of recognising, it was nice to see you had images of uh, the Monica Lone statue, Lewis, um, that, that you, they, I, I'm going to say that you see the land we repaid for Afton Street, so nice to see some of those familiar things as well. And also, the opportunities to move to Barbados or Trinidad, so nice to planting that seed yeah, in the point. minds of the uh, crowd here today. So, unless there's any last questions at this stage, I don't think so. I would like to say thank you so much, Karen Costa, for speaking.